uh, we have studied already the packaging of DNA, so the structure of DNA proposed by Watson and Crick. All this we have discussed. Now we are going to study about the search for the genetic material. Okay, so which is the genetic material and the search for it. Various experiments done by different scientists to prove that the DNA is the genetic material. Okay, so. Uh, at the time of Mendel, it was not clear that the genes, he only, I told many times, he only told that certain factors that are responsible for the transfer of character. And he was not having any idea what is this factors and where it is located. He was completely uh, unaware about that. Okay, so later on, uh, but they, the, the scientists like Grigor Mendel, Sutton, Morgan etc. Their and their works. Okay, their works have uh, had given some idea that the genetic material is located in the chromosomes. Means uh, almost uh, they have got idea that the genetic material is present in the chromosomes of the nucleus. Okay, but still in the chromosomes uh, you can get proteins, DNA, and RNAs are formed from DNA. So uh, in the nucleus all these are there. So, what exactly is the genetic material? That was not clear till that time. Okay. So, a scientist known as Frederick Griffith. Okay. Frederick Griffith. And his principle is also known as transforming principle. Okay. Transforming principle. And the scientist name is Frederick Griffith. Okay. Frederick Griffith. In 1928. Okay. So, he worked with certain bacteria known as Streptococcus pneumoniae. Okay, what is the name of the bacteria? Streptococcus pneumoniae that causes pneumonia. Okay, and you can see that there are two types or two strains are there. One is the smooth one and the other is the rough one. Okay, smooth one and rough ones were there. Two types or two strains were there. Rough ones and smooth Okay, smooth ones are because they are smooth because they are having a mucus caught. Okay, they are having a mucus caught in them or a polysaccharide caught in them. And R strains they lack it. Okay, because of the absence of this polysaccharide caught, they are rough. And the smooth ones are having a caught. Okay, in their uh, what uh, in their cells. And because of this, okay, uh, as the uh, uh, smooth type is having this polysaccharide cord on a culture plate, they produce smooth shiny colonies. Okay. On the other hand, the rough ones, they produce the rough colonies. Okay. Uh, in a nutrient medium when they are uh, grown, okay, they produce two types of colonies. What are they? Smooth colonies and smooth shiny colonies and rough colonies. Understood? And one more thing that we have to keep it in mind is smooth ones are virulent. Smooth ones are virulent means what? Which is able to produce the disease. And rough ones were not non-virulent. Non-virulent means they are not able to produce the disease. Okay? Smooth ones were virulent and rough ones were non-virulent. This much we have to keep it in mind. Okay. So, Frederick Griffith, he proposed that, okay, the genetic, uh, some, uh, some uh, genetic material is present, okay, in the uh, nucleus. Frederick Griffith, he injected a strain. A strain, I told, they are virulent types and this virulent types were injected to the mice and they developed the uh, what pneumonia and the mice died okay r strain r strain they are non virulent and when they injected uh, into mice when they were injected into mice uh, they were not able to produce pneumonia and the mice could leave they were not affected is it clear so s strains were smooth ones and they were virulent and they could what kill the mice and our strains being non-virulent were not able to kill 
mice and the mice were living. Is it clear? Then next what he did is he killed the a strain. Okay. A strain he killed and then he injected into the mice. Okay. A strain were killed by heating them and then it is injected into the mice and this uh, were not this killed killed a strain were not able to produce the uh, disease in the mice and the mice could live. Now at the last what he did is a strain he killed uh, the a strain now that killed he killed a strain he mixed with living R strain bacteria. Once again, listen carefully. What is it? That is a strain that were killed by heat. That killed ones were mixed with our strain bacteria. And this mixture, mixture of uh, this both were injected into the mice. And then to his surprise, he could see that the mice were dying. The mice were getting disease. Okay, so once again I will repeat what it was. First he uh, took a strain which was disease causing and the mice died. Okay, then next is what our strain uh, he took and injected into the mice and the mice were not affected and they were living. Now what he did is he killed the a strain and then injected it into the mice and the mice could live because they were not developing pneumonia and the next step what he did is he mixed the a strain which is heat killed and r strain which are life okay that mixture he injected into the mice and he could see that the mice were developing pneumonia okay and griffith concluded that r strain bacteria had somehow been transformed by the heat killed a strain bacteria is it clear? That is, our strain was transformed into a strain and a strain only could what kill the back, uh, kill the mice, isn't it? Or develop the disease. And our strain somehow they transformed, they changed into a strain. Okay. So, he concluded that some genetic material or some transforming principle, okay, transferred from the heat killed a strain that helped the R strain to synthesize the mucus cord and become virulent. Clear? That is when he mixed the uh, what a strain, uh, heat killed a strain bacteria, DNA, uh, do you know it is living or not? DNA is living or not? It is not living, isn't it? It is a simple molecule only, it is a biomolecule. Last year you have learned, isn't it? Like lipid, like oil, oil is lipid, na? So, likewise one uh, biomolecule only is DNA, isn't it? So, this DNA somehow entered into the uh, R strain and helped the R strain to produce what? The cords, protein cords and then only they were able to what? Uh, uh, to produce the disease in the mice. Okay, something, some genetic material that could change. So, genetic material is deciding the character of a particular organism, isn't it? So, this genetic material from a strain uh, entered into the R strain, okay? Heat killed a strain, entered into the R strain and could develop the disease, clear? So, this is the transforming principle. He simply said that some genetic material, what, from one strain, it entered into the other strain and uh, changed the uh, the which one the uh, R strain character. R strain's character was changed due to the entry of certain genetic material from where from the A strain. But he couldn't say anything about the genetic material as DNA, RNA or protein. He simply said that some genetic material is were transferred from one strain to the other strain and were able to uh, produce the change. Clear? Chemical characterization of transforming principle or the which, which component protein, DNA, RNA or uh, carbohydrate among all this DNA as the genetic material was proved by 
Oswald Avery, Colin McLeod and uh, Maclean McCarty. Okay, McCarty, Avery and McLeod. Okay, they conducted some experiment and they could prove that DNA is the genetic material. Okay, so uh, they proved what? Biochemical nature of transforming principle in Griffith experiment. Okay, so uh, they uh, in the heat from the heat killed the strains of uh, S strains. Okay, S strains from the heat killed S strains, they purified proteins, DNA, RNA, carbohydrates, etc. Okay, and uh, they uh, what mixed this component separately with what the uh, R strains, which are not virulent. Clear once again that is they purified proteins, DNA, RNA, carbohydrate also from heat killed S strains. Understood? And separately they mixed this. For example, proteins from the S kill, uh, uh, heat killed S strains were mixed with R strains and they so. At that time no transformation was happening. When RNA was uh, mixed with uh, uh, RNA from where? RNA from the heat killed S strains were mixed with what? Mixed with a, uh, R strains. Okay? They were not having any uh, change or they are not transformed. And they could see that when DNA, okay, DNA from the S strain which are heat killed. Clear? Once again, DNA from the S strain which are heat killed are mixed with the R strain. They could see that R strains are becoming S strain. Means the genetic material which is transferred was what DNA okay DNA was the genetic material which is transferred from heat killed heat killed S strains to R strains is it clear so from this they could prove that DNA is the genetic material in them understood and they could confirm this by how you know when they used RNAs RNAs speciality is what they are enzymes which digest RNA isn't it Enzymes we have studied now ACEs. We uh, what add ACEs to the substrate. Then you will get the what uh, the enzymes. So RNAs are the enzymes which digest RNA. So RNAs they used. Proteases they use. Proteases are what? Enzymes which digest proteins. Okay. So when they use this two. There was no effect on transformation. No effect on transformation means transformation happened okay happened means the yes tra transformation happened means the r strains became s strains clear but when they use dnas what is the function of dnas they digest dna when they use dnas dna were get digested and they uh, what happened there the transformation was not happening no transformation okay here no transformation happened understood no transformation happened why because dna was not there dna was actually the genetic material which is transferred from where to where from r strain to sorry from the heat killed s strains to r strain and when they use dnas dnas were digested and the transformation could not take place. From this, it was uh, confirmed that the genetic material among uh, all the other uh, what uh, components like proteins, DNA, RNA, carbohydrates, among all this, DNA as the genetic material. Clear? So, this is the experiment. This was asked for 5 hours once. Okay? So, be uh, attentive in this. This is the experiment which proved what? DNA as the genetic material. Okay. And here uh, who, who are the scientists? Avery, McLeod and McCarty. Okay. And uh, this uh, what they did is they confirmed the biochemical nature of transforming principle in Griffith experiment. Clear? Or they confirmed the DNA was the material which is transform, transfer, uh, transferred from heat killed S strains to R strains and made the non virulent to virulent. Is it clear? As the genetic material okay, was confirmed 
without any doubt by the work done by alfred hershey and martha chase okay their experiment okay their experiment proved that dna is the genetic material okay uh, and uh, this experiment they were conducted on bacteriophages do you know what are bacteriophages bacteriophages are viruses okay which affects the bacteria do you know what are the parts of a virus okay virus do they have any cell no now everyone is knowing isn't it viruses does not have a cell what they are having is a protein coat and the genetic material it can be rna dna or anything so here bacteriophages uh, which affects the bacteria okay they are having uh, dna and uh, as the genetic material okay dna as the genetic material and they were grown in two different mediums or the two types of bacteriophages they developed one type they developed by growing this bacteriophages what are bacteriophages they are viruses okay this viruses were grown in a medium which contain radioactive sulfur okay and another uh, what they a group they made by growing this viruses okay continuously for many uh, time means for a long time in a medium that contain radioactive phosphorus okay so likewise two types of bacteriophages were developed by this scientist okay what are they uh, radioactive uh, sulfur can they grown them in radioactive uh, what sulfur containing medium and the other group were uh, grown as radioactive phosphorus uh, they are, they were grown in radioactive phosphorus containing medium okay so when the viruses were grown in radioactive uh, sulfur medium their protein coat will become radioactive isn't it because the sulfur is present in where sulf have you studied about sulfur containing amino acids so uh, obviously they will be present in their protein coat so the radioactivity in the bacteriophages which are grown in uh, radioactive sulfur can be seen only in the protein coat and the radioactivity can be seen in the dna uh, of what the uh, bacteriophages which are grown in radioactive phosphorus why because phosphorus is present in dna and when they are growing them in uh, radioactive phosphorus containing medium what will happen the dna will become radioactive so two types of what uh, viruses they created one is having radioactivity in their protein coat and the other one is having radioactivity in yeah. their dna understood so this uh, two types were created and then what happened radioactivity could be seen in their protein coat in the uh, what uh, the bacteria phage which are grown in uh, radioactive sulfur medium and the uh, radioactivity could be found in the uh, dna which are having which are grown in uh, radioactive phosphorus medium bacteria phages were allowed to infect the bacteria okay and the bacteria phages were of two types one is with radioactivity in the protein coat and the other is with radioactivity in their dna okay the pro, uh, the uh, bacteria phage with uh, uh, radioactivity uh, in the protein coat and in the dna so as you know when viruses attack the uh, any host cell their protein coat will stay outside and only the dna will get or the genetic material will get inside understood so when they were allowed to infect the bacteria that step is called infection okay that step is called infection and then the uh, the next step after the infection started the bacteria phages uh, protein coat okay they were outside and they were removed by a process called blending okay so the uh, process blending removes what the protein coats from the uh, bacteria okay so that will get separated from the bacterial cells now uh, when centrifugation is done uh, 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 so it is seen that uh, okay radioactivity was found only in the dna or in the cells of the 
bacteria which are infected with the bacteriophages having radioactivity in the DNA. And in the other type of cells where they were infected with the bacteriophages uh, having radioactivity in the protein called, they were not showing any radioactivity. And in the centrifuge, okay, protein cords will get uh, accumulated in the top as they are lighter than DNA. So, in the supernatant, in this group, the protein cords were radioactive and here the protein cords were not radioactive, okay. Uh, so, uh, and here even though the protein cords were removed, okay, DNA were uh, radioactive here and they uh, went inside and the cells shown or cells were showing radioactivity. So, this clear that what the genetic material which is getting entered into the cell and transforming this is what or uh, which is uh, responsible uh, for the character is what DNA and DNA is radioactive here. So, from this it was clear that radio, uh, the DNA is the genetic material.